I have been so blessed by Springdale Public Schools. Everybody that I've met has been very supportive of me and what I'm trying to accomplish in the classroom and my students. It's, it's just such a family of people all moving the same direction, especially J.O. Kelly. Um, everybody just wants to help me and, and, and help my kids have the best education that they can. Well, Miss Henley just helps us be ourselves in here and like she lets us roam around and do our thing. So like in a normal classroom, you wouldn't be able to like just walk and get your stuff. You have to kind of like ask permission to do things and she kind of just like lets us. We never want to be satisfied with what we're doing. We always want to take risks. I think that's an important part of a gifted curriculum is that students have a safe place to take risks. Um, a lot of times gifted students have high anxiety. They're used to being viewed as um, super intelligent, always supposed to know the answers, and so sometimes they're super afraid to fail. And so providing them with a classroom where taking risks and learning from those failures is actually encouraged um, creates kind of a home-like environment and a safe haven for my students. And so that's the goal in here is that they can take creative, safe risks. She gives us like freedom and she lets us like do what we want, but if we, she kind of has this like rules, like if we have the ability to control ourselves, then we can do that, but if we're too loud and we're being disruptive, then we can't. Well, I'm very excited about her being here. She's a professional at the top of her game, and that's what we want to hire every time we hire someone. I always tell people that um, I pass on a lot of good teachers because I look for great teachers, because my kids deserve great teachers, and so I would certainly put her in that category. I think what I like best about the way that this class is set up is that it's student-led and that students are given challenges um, that they are allowed to solve on their own with my guidance. I try not to interfere with their way of thinking. I just try to assist them and be, be there for them if they need it. But most of the time, honestly, they don't. 